Hi, I'm Jack from Make Me A DJ, and in this video, I wanted to take an in-depth look into creating intelligent playlists within Pioneer's record box. So, intelligent playlists, what are they? They're a way to automatically update our music collection over time. Uh, we set the criteria and Recordbox does all the legwork for you. I'm going to take a little look at that in a second, but this is something which we can find quite handy, especially nowadays we all live fairly hectic lifestyles and any way which we can shave off time, what we do in the studio is quite favourable. So we know that keeping on top of our music collection is something that can be quite labour intensive. We can put a lot of hours into sort of categorising our music. But if there was a way for Recordbox to automatically do that for us, that's something that could be quite handy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the playlist section. I'm going to select create new intelligent playlist. This one in particular, I'm going to call this, for instance, um, tracks by Eric Prids. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the criteria to tell Recordbox that any tracks that come under the name Eric Prids to automatically throw into this intelligent playlist. So as you can see, just on the left hand side here, it says match any of the following and then it says artist. So if we click artist and we click the equals button, we can change some of the criteria in which we want Recordbox to match it. So in this case, I'm going to click it and set it to contains. So anything that contains Eric Prids now goes into this playlist. Hit OK, and there we go. There's Eric Prids Piano, which has been added in twice for some reason. I must have it on my hard drive twice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Edit Playlist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another line into this. Um, and just where it says match the following condition across the top, I'm going to change that to match any of the following conditions. Um, and in this second line, I'm going to put in one of Eric Prids's other aliases, which is Preda. Hit OK, and there we go. We can see there's a Preda track now being added into this playlist as well. So now I'm going to right click and go to Edit Playlist again, and we're going to take this one step further. I'm going to add another line in, set it to Contains, and this one I'm going to use is third alias, which is Sirez D, and then just hit OK. And now Record Box has automatically added in tracks by Sirez D as well. As you can see, this track in particular on off has been added in. And if over time we were to add more tracks by either Eric Perids, Preda, or Sirez D, Record Box would automatically update those over time and pop them into this intelligent playlist. So if you're an artist yourself, you get your masters back, you can imagine you can set your own artist name and have your own playlist, which can update over time. So it doesn't just stop at artist name. Um, we can set it to BPM, uh, color if you have your own color system, um, or my tag if you tag your tracks by any niche subgenres which you might want. Um, we can use ratings. Uh, they created is another good one, so we could do all tracks by this year, for instance. In this case, I'm going to select BPM, and I'm going to select the BPM to less than uh, 125. And I'm going to call the name of the playlist. I'm just going to call it minus 125 BPM. I'm going to hit OK. Now that's good because we've got all of our tracks now that are less than 125 BPM. But in this case, what's happened is a lot of drum and bass tracks have been added into here. What I can do is I can select the plus function and I can change genre and I'm going to select it to contains. And in this case, I'm going to set the condition to house music. So I'm just going to pop in house. So now any genres which contain the word house will automatically be added into here. So as you can see, we've now got house, tech house, and progressive house. So this is something I've been giving insight to to a lot of students who come through the door here at Make Me A DJ. And I thought it's something which you guys could find useful as well. It's not a new feature by any means, but it's something really, really useful. And especially now that gigs are starting to come back, it can be a massive time saver for us and just a way to kind of automatically keep on top of our music collection without really having to lift a finger. So in your own time, get experimenting with this, see how far you can refine the criteria to and set the conditions to, to really tailor it towards your own needs. So if you think this is something that you can use in the future or you go on to use it and end up having any success with it, let us know about it in the comments. And don't forget, we'll have plenty more content like this coming in the future.